Hi everybody, thank you for watching. For those of you guys that are new, my name is Carly, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to get this hairdo right here. It's super fluffy, and I have been doing it a lot lately, and you guys have been requesting it for a couple of months now. I've been doing it a lot, and I found some new techniques that help really keep it nice and fluffy throughout the day. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button right below, right over here, and also click that bell so you can get post notifications every time I post, which is every Wednesday and Sunday, and on occasion I'm going to be throwing in a third video. So if you guys want to see how I got this hairdo right here, then please keep watching. So there's two ways you can do this. You can either curl your hair after or before. If I want it like super full and fluffy, if I curl my hair first, I find that it works a little bit better. It keeps it um, a little bit more voluminous. So I have this beautiful looking curling iron and I'm going to just take pieces. So I just like to split my hair down the middle. So I like to split it down the middle and then bring all of my hair to the front and I'm just gonna start grabbing pieces and start curling. Since we are putting it in a ponytail, you don't need to make it perfect. You just wanna have like that curl and that texture in your hair because it's gonna make it look much better once it's up. So you can use a regular curling iron. It doesn't have to be this exact one. I always like to leave a little piece because I don't want it to be like curl curled. I want it to be more of like a wavy looking ponytail. So I'm just gonna continue the same thing over my entire head. And you don't have to go all the way up to the root because, again, we are doing a ponytail, so you're not going to see it. So if you guys have shorter hair and you want to add extensions to this look, you can do the same process. Just curl your hair, and then you can curl your extensions separately. You don't want to put them in before the ponytail. So I'll just show you guys like one little tip that I used to do when my hair wasn't long enough and I wanted my ponytail super long. So you don't need to go crazy. Again, just kind of wrap whatever pieces you come to. Um, you can always touch it up once the ponytail is in as well. So just do as much as you feel you need to. So I used to always do my ponytail and then curl it. And one time I was curling my hair and I hated how it looked. So I ended up doing the ponytail and that was this day right here and my ponytail was much fluffier and it stayed much longer than normal. So that's why I always like to do this first if I want my ponytail to be like massive. So now that we have some waves in the hair, um, normally if I would do a ponytail I'm standing in front of my sink and my mirror in my bathroom. So for today's video I'm just going to use my little uh, setting spray. It's it's facial spray, but it'll do the same thing. So I'm just going to spray the front part of my hair a little bit. And I have this little brush. This thing is literally like 10 years old, but it works wonders. So I always like to kind of smooth everything back first, and then I'll go in and I feel like the key to making this work is to keep on smoothing it. So really quickly before I do my ponytail, oh my god, I look cute, right? Oh, my hair looks so funny right now. Um, so if you guys do have extensions and you want to do a ponytail, what I used to do was I would look down and I would take this hair right here, like this. I'll just give you a quick little. So what I would do is take a elastic and tie a little ponytail right here. So depending on how high. So basically like this, as you guys can see. If you secure that with an elastic and you take your clip-in extensions, what you would do is you would clip them and wrap it around that ponytail. So say you want to do like three tracks, four tracks, whatever you want to do, you would just clip it right onto the ponytail, wrap it around and clip each one all around that ponytail. So in the end your ponytail is going to look something like this, but then when you pull all of your hair back over it, it's going to cover it and it's going to give you that length and it's not going to hurt your hair as much as if you were to like clip them upside down, which I've seen people do as well. So now I always like to... I'm scared I have a candle right behind me. So I always like to use my fingers first to kind of get all of the hair into place. I like my ponytails like super, super high. Instant facelift as well. And I always like to like push out my little baby hairs because my forehead is ginormous. It deserves its own zip code, so we want to cover it up a little bit. So I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to start smoothing it out. So depending on how messy you want it, sometimes I like it like a little bit messy looking, but I still like to get it really smooth because when I'm applying the elastics, sometimes it's hard to like, it's never as perfectly tight as right before you put the elastic in. But my hair is super thick, so I think that's why it's super hard for me. Super, super. 
So I always like to do underneath as well. And I just keep adjusting it until I feel it's smooth enough. And I have so much hair, so if it's not perfect underneath, it's fine. Especially because it's super puffy and it's going to be covered anyway. Yeah, the key is just to smooth and just keep readjusting your hands so you can get it as tight as humanly possible. Okay, so I feel like I got it pretty tight, like good enough. I have um, these elastics right here. And what I always like to do, because I like to have it stay up, I found that if I put the elastic in looking like just straight like this, it'll look good, but I feel like it doesn't stay as high. So what I like to do, so flip your head over, and then you take the elastic, and then pull your hair through, so that way it's still just as tight. And then you pull the elastic as tight as possible, switch, and do the same thing, tuck it, and then pull the hair through. Again. These hair ties that I bought are like for thick hair, so it's gonna let me do it four times, which is nice. Okay, now after the fourth one, I can like sit back up. So I always like to pull like my little things out. And like smooth anything that doesn't look right. And then because my hair's thick and I like it extra tight, I'm gonna go in with another hair tie. So this one I could put in normally. But that way you can wrap it under the other ponytail and get it even tighter than it was before. And then what this also does, which I'll show you in a minute, by adding two hair ties, and it's hard to tell because my hair is black. So what this does, and you can even extend it a little more, is it gives height to your ponytail, which is what we want because it's gonna look that much better. So you wanna make sure it's like centered on your head. And then what I like to do, this is like my hack that I've done forever, I use, it's called Grey Away, and it's just like a spray for, I guess it's really made for people if they have grey roots or whatever, but my hair, A, I need it dyed, but B, it's always lighter in the front, and I don't want to look like I'm balding, so what I like to do, I cover my face, and I lightly fill it in, and I do this all around. And you want to be careful with it because if it's too dark, it's going to look fake. So you just got to like lightly. And then if you spray it a little further back, you can like push it into your hairline. That way you don't have like a crazy like line and then it looks like you have fake hair. Tweet on to that. And then you have a nice black finger, so make sure you always wash that off too. So if you have any areas that you need to secure, you can just take a bobby pin. I think mine's pretty fine. Maybe like one over here. And then one on the side. I'm going to take a little bit of hairspray. This one is Super Fine Strong Hairspray by Oreb. Oreb? I don't know how to say it. And just like very lightly go over. I don't like to use a lot of hairspray. I don't want it to look like too sleek. So then what I like to do is I like to take a little piece of hair from underneath the ponytail. So you guys can see what the two ponytails give as far as height. So I'm going to take a little piece from underneath. And I'm going to smooth that around the elastic. So that way you don't see the little ponytail holders. And then I'm just going to pin it with a, like a bobby pin in the back so that way it stays. You can spray that as well. And then I have my dry bar, it's called Triple Sec. It's like a texture spray. So I love to spray that into my hair to give it even more texture. And I love the smell of it. And once your hair is up, you can go over any pieces that you maybe want a little bit more curled. So like these front pieces I always like to do. just go over so 
same thing on this side. And there you have it. It's super easy. It takes like under 10 minutes. And I love to do this when I don't feel like washing my hair. So I usually go like two days where my hair will look good down. And then on the third day, I will do like a ponytail and then wash it the next day because I'm lazy. And honestly, my hair takes forever to dry. So this is just something I love to do. Um, if you guys feel you don't have enough body, you could take that same brush and just kind of like back comb some of the pieces to give it like some more body. I don't want to do too much because it's already like so poofy and I don't want it to be like ginormous, which it kind of already is. I'm going to use a little hairspray right here so this part's like smoothed. One more time. And that's really it. That's really all that I do. So it's pretty easy, but I think this hairstyle is cool because you could literally wear it with sweats and keep it casual. Or you can wear it for a night out or a special occasion, really whatever you guys are feeling. So this is the final result. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned some new tricks that you can apply to your own hair. I highly suggest trying this ponytail out even if you're not a fan of ponytails because a, it's off of your neck and your back, so the warmer months that are coming, you're going to appreciate a nice hairdo off of your neck and your back because it'll help you stay less hot and more cool. And although you might have a little bit of a headache after a couple of hours, it's worth it. And I just personally love wearing my hair like this. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. We are almost at 6 million and I am... Honestly blown away, I can't even believe it, but I am taking requests as to what you guys want to win because I am planning the biggest giveaway that I have ever done yet, so comment below and let me know, and until my next video, I will see you guys later.